garbage man can and he does it with a smile and never judges you. Japanese people are pretty thorough about recycling and uh, the, every supermarket has a section for bottles that are made of plastic, glass bottles and cans and uh, burnable garbage and when you put out your own garbage you also have to put it in a marked bag, in a special bag. In Canada we have just blue boxes pretty much uh, covering everything but here in Japan every garbage has to be separated by the consumer and uh, later we have to dispose of it properly. So here are the plastic bottles as they are packed already and uh, compressed of course first and there are some aluminum cans. Okay, it's time for me to drive up to the line and wait for the light to change into green. When it changes into green it means the burning area the dumpster burning area. I can go to number one. I think number one is there. I don't know. Whoops. It's like red now. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go anyway. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I think it's correct. We'll see what happens. Maybe not. But I know this is the place where you burn garbage because I've been here before. Okay, so there you go. There are the cars all lined up. And you can't have too many cars on the ramp, I guess, because the ramp can't take so much weight. So I think you will want me to, to go inside. So now what we do is we go to that area where the car has to reverse and uh, where you're going to unload your garbage and uh, then they're going to burn it in those big chambers. Many farmers come here with their leaves and branches from their gardens or from their fields and uh, they choose not to burn them in the fields although some farmers burn uh, leftovers in their fields but uh, many don't because it's of course dangerous Okay, so my garbage was disposed of and now I'm just going to the gate to get weighed. So here I am, there's the green light. I can go on the ramp and konnichiwa. Hi, arigato. Thank you. Hi. Hi, arigato. Okay, desu ka? Arigato gozaimasu. Okay, and now let's talk a little bit about philosophy. What is garbage in your life and how do you dispose of it? Well, one of the forms of garbage, of course I mean spiritual and mental garbage, not the physical garbage, is um, the news. The news that we get to hear from TV and radio is always about the same thing. It's about death and war and destruction and never anything happy, never anything about the meaning of life, for example. The news is never about what I'm trying to talk about right now, how to be happy and how to dispose of the garbage, how to get rid of, your, of the uh, pollution that we receive daily. Another form of mental garbage is music that we listen to. We often listen to music which has lyrics about nothing, either about making money, I am a material girl, or about uh, love, but uh, there is no uh, meaning in it, there is no teaching in it, it's just, you know, uh, she's so lovely, or um, I am addicted to love, or whatever, you know, she was just 17, and things like that. Uh, the Beatles are not so bad actually with their lyrics, but uh, I'm talking about uh, pop music that people listen to. Marlon Manson. Rappers. You can suck my dick if you don't like my shit. Cause I was high when I wrote this, so suck my dick. All these kind of nonsense lyrics. Uh, nobody should even listen to it and uh, unfortunately our youth is often addicted to it. Mind is not a waste basket. We should select what we want to put in our minds and reject the garbage that we are exposed to every day. 
Of course, another form of pollution is the real pollution, the physical pollution. So, for example, in Japan, we have uh, nuclear pollution and we have uh, the yellow sand from China. Uh, we have uh, plastic pollutants in the water. We have mercury in the uh, oceans and in the fish. So, there is a lot of um, pollution going on. And, uh, of course, it's very dangerous. Another form of pollution that is also dangerous is the electrical pollution. I actually can't live near my house anymore, uh, in my house anymore, because they're building a tower next to me. Do you see this man? He is spraying pesticides on the grass. Is there any reason to spray pesticides on the grass here? This is one type of polluting that is not necessary. Sometimes our behavior can be likened to garbage. It's a kind of behavior that we don't want to see. And, uh, you know, what does it mean? I mean, uh, people who get drunk and who get uh, angry, who are uh, making trouble, people who cut trees for no good reason. You know, you see these trees here? They were growing, they were nice, and uh, there's no reason. The guy who owns this land came suddenly, cut it all down because uh, he thought it was... Uh, garbage but to me it was beautiful because they were trees and uh, now of course my fence became barren and ugly anyways there is garbage all around us and we have to deal with it daily how do you deal with your garbage <laughs>